Y'all ready? Hang on. Shoo, hang sure. On. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean, wait? Okay, now. This was essentially heel Brian Danielson from Ring of Honor tearing apart babyface Nick Jackson from like PWG, and it was awesome. Powerhouse Hobbs introduced a Ricky Starks video package. But like Hook is standing there. It's yeah. like, we just got to get Hook on television to be Hook. Of course you do. And of course he never says anything. Of course he doesn't. Bobby Fish gets fired from NXT so they can show B-Fab matches instead. And then she shows up here on Dynamite and is challenging the TNT champion. Yeah, how about Bobby Fish's partner, Kyle O'Reilly, who is stuck ah, in NXT while fucker. Fab B and her crew are on the main roster? And then Henry asks Orange for his thoughts. His thoughts are that he has no idea what's going on. And Marcus explains, well... What is this match? What am I doing? Yes. It's very much like what it was like putting our match together over WrestleMania weekend, by the way. What is this? What am I doing? I don't know either. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been two oranges in this case, yeah. I'm not sure if Vinny V wrestled Orange Cassidy if we'd, contact would ever be made. There's some serious matter, antimatter <laughs> discussion That is here. the unstoppable force in the immovable object. Yes. The guy with the gimmick and the guy that is just that gimmick. Yeah. Canyon calls me and he goes, Alvarez! He always called me Alvarez. Alvarez! I, I'm having an argument right here. Fritz von Eric, Alive or dead? And I said, I hope you get your money. It is not on speakerphone. He was just on his... And I said, I hope you get your money, but... Uh, He's dead. There's a pause, and then I hear, I told you he was alive! And he hung up. <laughs> Where do you see this Arn Anderson part of the story going? He's going well, to shoot, gonna shoot Yeah, he's going to take his Glock and blow someone's uh, brains all over the pavement. I, it didn't occur to me that it was going to go anywhere. Steph C. here uh, notes their birthday is tomorrow. They want to know how much they have to pay you to get a happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's free, apparently. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. No cameos for Granny. No, I should set up Granny for That a actually is a great idea. Yeah. She'd, she'd be rich. Mike was ne must have never, ever, 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 even once, ever listened to the show before. Oh, it's okay. always good to have new listeners. What does he have to say? What is your go-to fast food establishment to enjoy? Oh, man. I mean, hopefully he's not a video subscriber because there's a, there's a clue in the bottom right-hand side of the screen right here. I got Wagyu hot dogs in the fridge right now. That's a gimmick. Actually, it's not. It is. No. Yeah, bro, I'm gonna bring them over to your house if I ever go over there again, and then you're gonna, and then you tell me if it's a gimmick. Don't threaten me with a good time. Come on, get out of here, bro. I've, I've, I've had. Oh, trust me. <laughs> what, what a threat that is! Listen. I'm gonna come to your house and bring fancy meat with me, fucker. Yeah, I, I spent all day watching this stupid wrestling. WrestleMania 39, Triple H versus Lesnar. WrestleMania 39. Uh huh. That's four years in the future. <laughs> really? Yes. First mistake, WCW. Jericho versus Jobber the Gambler. Wait, what? <laughs> Say this Jobber. one more time. Jobber the Gambler, right? Jobber the Gambler? Yeah. A Jabber or Jobber? I jabber, yes. Is it Jabber? Jobber it's, it's the <laughs> Gambler. What was the date again? Hang on, I'm very confused. Okay, that's what it says. <laughs> High jump by Jericho, backdrop on Gambler. Listen at your own risk. We are going to spoil the whole goddamn movie. Vinny, they know we're going to spoil the movie, you idiot. We're reviewing the fucking movie. People like a heads up on spoilers, Brian. I know that, but but the point of the fucking show is we're going to review this movie. I don't think we need a spoiler warning that we're going to spoil the goddamn fucking movie. And they go into the morgue. And somebody asks, who has a morgue in their house? And Biggie just says, it is The Undertaker. <laughs> She's got a point. Join The Undertaker is choice number one. Choice number two, continue to stay positive. <laughs> <laughs> so I chose to face The Undertaker, and he killed me. <laughs> That's what happened. The, the double kiss spot and Adam Cole's glee about being kissed by two men. How happy that makes him. That's wonderful. You know what I love about Adam Cole, by the way? Everything? Well, I mean, yeah. Everyone's running wild. There's one four-way powerbomb spot that they tried on Luchasaurus. It went wrong, but they're heels. Who cares? They, they screwed up a move. It's not like everyone time froze and they stared at each other and they didn't know what to do. They screwed up this move. Everyone booed and they looked at the crowd and said, yeah, now you're booing us. Yeah, it's they awesome. laughed. When you're a heel, you can, in fact, look like a geek. 
It is okay for the fans to boo you because you fucked something up because you're a heel. But it's death for a baby face. He's got a three-month-old at home, and she's insane, he screams. Wait till she's two. <laughs> Wait till she just grabs a marker and draws all over the couch. Yep. That was today's. I see. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. The three-month-old can't even move. Yeah. Once she starts crawling, then you're really fucked. Yeah. Then she's start walking, and you're double fucked. Then she's going to start talking, ah. and you're quadruple fucked. And then she'll be a teenager, and, you know, hopefully you're dead by then. There's some cheesesteaks. Go, jokes were going to go for a while, and uh, eventually he. Yeah, gets this just... poor guy. Remember, I was talking about how a heel can fuck up and a baby face can't. Yeah. He tried to say Philly cheese steak, and he said Philly cheese cake. Yeah. And they briefly turned on him. There's Arson Anderson outside. <laughs> he's got a fucking giant barrel, and he's burning shit. Yeah. And then way up at the tippy top, it's like looking at the wall, brother. It was. You see a, a human. <laughs> So he gets down, and, and he walks over, and he's in the dark, and you just hear Cody say, what are you going to do, shoot me? I howled. <laughs> they already have the TNT title. Now they have the TBS championship. It is going to be the secondary belt in the women's division. I, had a, I, had a, I heard a funny criticism that I don't like that the letters are lowercase. That's the TBS <laughs> logo. Like that's the logo. That's what it's supposed to look like. Serena Deeb came out, and she looked at that fucking trophy, and she thought, these fuckers think that she's just going to beat me and get her 50th win. Fuck you. And Sheeta taps out, and this place was shocked. They did not see this coming. And then Serena is offended. They had this trophy out there, assuming she was going to lose. So she takes the trophy and smashes it over Sheeta's head for good measure. Like I say, this was a fascinating segment. Hangman's wife gave birth, and so he took some time off. And so then they brought in Daniel Bryan or Bryan Danielson and CM Punk. And then you think of all of these matches you can do with with Omega and Hangman's not there. And you got everyone talking about how, man, I don't know what they should do with this Hangman. Like, there's so much stuff you can do with Bryan and with Punk. And that's all true and everything like that. But, man, this guy came back and it's like, put the belt on this fucking guy. What are you waiting for? Like, he needs to win at full gear. The show after full gear is in his fucking hometown. Oh, well. Put the belt on this guy. Damn it. I make sure I have any other work I have done, any other writing or editing or emails I have to do. I have to get all that stuff taken care of. I make sure my lovely wife is taken care of. I tuck her in. I kiss her goodnight. I tell her I love her. I pour myself a sit- stiff drink, and I sit down, and I watch the show in the dark alone. Dude, this show's going to kill you, bro. looking for things to hate. <laughs> wow. I bet you fuckers anything that within two years... He is Rex Steiner. I'm like I'm I'm like 99% certain. Slimy guy who pretends he doesn't want to fight. The other guy is a pro wrestler, but he can only use his jacket. What is this shit? I'm watching a cartoon Quickly. parody of a pro wrestling match. Yeah, and that's that. I think it was Vic, but somebody who says totally deadpan. Dexter Lewis is not here this week. He's recovering from rubber legs. <laughs> I, I think they've just given up, and it's like, we're just going to entertain ourselves. Well, on that note, Wade responded to the rubber legs comment by adding, a part of Dexter's anatomy had snapped off. <laughs> they, they've they been funny lately. I, I've enjoyed the commentary on this show. I will say that. The least likable women on the planet, all sniping at each other, irritating the fuck out of me. I was cheering for a fire. I was hoping the building would burn down and have to watch this again. It's just a bad show, dude. And... and Thumbs down, would not recommend, do not watch. You know, all day we've been talking about the median age of the show being 62 this week. You know what I think it is? I think it's because old people write it. There are a bunch of old people writing a show about what they think young people are like. But in fact, the only people that like it are other old people. You'd think maybe you could get someone that was like in their 20s or 30s to write all your shows instead of a guy who's 76 and all of his old fucking cronies. But no, it's this is what we got, so... Enjoy it, everybody. That's your show.